Hi everybody, this is MVK. I have 25 years of experience worked around 15 countries, managed and also recruited thousands of resources. Currently, I'm working as a director in one of the big four companies in Dubai. Please subscribe, share and also like this video. Hello everybody. Today we will talk about SAP projects. This is one of the prerequisite to know to start an SAP career. If you are an SAP consultant, you should know what are the types of SAP projects. SAP projects can be classified into three categories. Number one, SAP implementations and rollouts. Number two, SAP support projects. And number three, SAP upgrade projects. Okay, to make it easy to understand for the beginners or for the freshers, let me take an example and walk through all these three projects in this life cycle. Let us assume that there is a company called Philips or we'll take Dell. Okay, Dell is the company which is working or fun functioning in California and it has decided to go ahead to have an SAP implemented in this organization. Obviously, to go ahead and have SAP initially, what happens? First of all, they will do internal due diligence. As an organization, it will have various departments, right? And obviously, it will have lot of resources and also branches and kinds of various kinds of business scenarios, right? So, all these are very complex. So, what they will do in initially, they will do their own due diligence and they will pick one particular application which will suit to automate their business processes. Let us assume that Dell have decided to take SAP as a product. SAP might have gone from a product side. SAP as a company might have gone and given the presentation as compared to Oracle, Infor, all other companies. And finally, they may have decided that they will go with Oracle, SAP. Now, once they have decided to go ahead with SAP, what Dell will do? Dell initially will release a document which is called as RFP, Request for Proposal. This product is released or this document is released to all the IT services companies. Obviously, there may be hundreds of IT services companies. So, what they will do? There might be certain preferred and registered vendors with Dell company. All these companies will get this particular RFP. A typical RFP will have, okay, what it will have? Basically, it will have the details like, you know, what is the company structure? How many employees are there? What kind of departments they have? What kind of branches they have? What kind of business scenarios they have? And what kind of product they want to implement? They will be giving all the details, right? So, this RFP will go to all the IT services company. Let us take example, it has gone to Accenture, it has gone to TCS, it has gone to IBM and few other IT services companies. IBM took a, a step ahead and what they have done, let us assume that they have submitted the proposal. So, the proposal is nothing but the response to the RFP, right? So, IBM submitted proposal. TCS also submitted proposal and also Accenture has submitted proposal. Now, when they propose, they will propose, see, request for proposal and you are coming with the proposal, right? So, the proposal is there. So, what does proposal include? It includes the kind of duration it will take to set up SAP in your organization, the number of resources might be required to work. A number of modules to be implemented, SAP Finance, SAP Sales and Distribution, Material Management, all these module details, I have prepared one one video for each module. You can go and check in my channel. There is a dedicated playlist available for every module. There you will get the details. So now they will put all these modules. That is nothing but the scope. They will also mention the duration. They will also mention the cost of the implementation, right? That's a quote. Like all other details will be there, assumptions and exclusions, out of scope, all those details will be there in that proposal. So, IBM will submit, Accenture will submit, TCS also submits, all three will submit. Once it has been done, once it has been submitted, what Dell will do? They will evaluate based on the quality of the 
proposal in terms of the technical coverage in terms of the scope coverage like these guys might have given certain organization these guys might have given certain business processes whether that respective proposal covering all that or not and also from the cost perspective whose cost is lower right and also they will see the duration whose duration is less all these points various points they will consider and finally let us assume that Dell have decided to go ahead and ask IBM are awarded the project has been awarded to the IBM whenever the product project has been awarded to IBM obviously uh, uh, we call it as a letter will be given okay uh, the acceptance letter and also uh, not acceptance uh, offer letter will be given to IBM and IBM need to accept that then based on that a PO will be released purchase order will be released so this is how the cycle will be done till the project has been awarded it will be followed for all the kinds of projects okay now IBM won the project and they need to execute this project right currently Dell do not have any SAP system they might be using some other system or they might be on legacy Excel or whatever or they might be using small applications right IBM will form a team they will form a project manager consultants for all the scope of the modules like there is a finance guy there is an MM guy there is an SD guy likewise based on the complexity of the project and the kind of locations to be covered based on various factors they will decide they may decide one FICO consultant they may decide five FICO consultant that that will depend on the project so they will form a team and this team is being allocated for Dell so the team will travel to Dell or if it is an offshore project team will work from IBM office who will dedicatedly work for Dell now the entire team will take the requirements from the Dell and they will set up the SAP application as per the Dell requirements there is a process there are various steps which is nothing but implementation so they will configure the SAP product as per the Dell requirement and make sure that product is going live so that at the end of the day the product can be used by the Dell usually the implementation duration can be six months based on the complexity it can go to one year two years three years also it depends right let's assume that I being given one year duration so if, if it has started from 1st of Jan by 31st December the project is completed and the product is made available for Dell so that Dell can use the product all the users within the Dell community can use the product this is a simple explanation on the implementation project so implementation is nothing but where there is no environment SAP environment a team from IT services will go and do set up the product and make sure that product is made available as per the business requirement it is in a simple language there is a methodology to follow right we have something called activate methodology there is a separate video prepared you can check SAP implementation project so you can check that where the entire details has been given this is a synapsis video it is also there in my channel you can check that phase by phase the details are there this is the first category second category of the project is the support project let us assume that IBM implemented system gone live they are using it after one year do you think the product will be worked without any issues absolutely no right there will be bugs there may be issues users may not be having good knowledge on working on it or they might be doing some wrong punchings or there may be some bugs in the system where users are getting problem obviously this is a software so they will have certain problems initially at least for six months or one year there will be some problem so if IBM go ahead and do the implementation and leave the organization after one year and once the product has been handed over to Dell Dell team can't handle it just like that they need some kind of a support we will say that you know I mean a service right we, we take a product and we need some kind of a service if it is a physical product usually the kind of service required periodically but this is an application obviously there will be a lot of issues for that what happens Dell will further and ask says hey IBM you already given code for one year I am happy now you do one thing 
you be with us for next one year and make sure if there is any errors or there is any issues coming in you fix it. IBM said thank you very much I am happy for that I will allocate the team what IBM will do they will allocate one more project manager and a set of our resources who will work for this project if at all there is any issues coming in this team will go on fix that that is nothing but SAP support project. Support project is nothing but a dedicated team or a, a, a team will work for the client if there is any issues in the system this team will go and fix it. That particular type of project is known as support project. This is the second category of the project. Now implementation I just spoke I also spoke about support. Now what is the third category upgrade. See if you are using Android phone let us assume you go back 10 years whatever the UI are using the same today also is there is no upgrades happen obviously happens right Samsung will throw messages every 6 months 1 year that there is an upgrade available you want to go to the next level or even operating system also today we are using Windows what are the latest version we are using right Windows 95 Windows 3.0 like you know there are various versions obviously new features will be coming in like SAP also what it will do. SAP also build lot of new features into the product and they will release it as a version. So two years back let us assume that two years back IBM did the implementation one year implementation gone and one year support gone in two years obviously SAP might have done some changes right. So those changes will not come automatically and it is not a just a plugin just go and press it like operating system it will happen automatically no SAP is a complex product somebody need to check everything they need to do due diligence there is a process to follow based on that only you need to upgrade it. So obvious once again tell what it will do once again it will ask hey IBM you are done the implementation you are done the support why do not you upgrade my product when you implemented it was 2022 now 2025 has come please upgrade that likewise they can propose in such case once again you will form a team and that team will sit in the project and they will upgrade it usually the upgrades can happen one month three months six months one year depends on the the, the duration and the complexity of the project sometimes if there are lot of developments and it will take lot of time and if there is a too much of gap somebody might have implemented SAP 15 years back and now they want to upgrade there are lot of such instances in the market in such case it will go more than one year right. So you can be asked to do upgrade project also you can be asked to do support project also implementation also. I said one more word if you carefully listen initially I said implementation or rollout and rollout right what is rollout. See let us assume that Dell is a company already IBM implemented right now once the it has been implemented SAP in this particular US there might be a company which is there in India initially first one year it has not implemented after one year or so they have decided that India company also they want to have SAP then it is not called as implementation it is a rollout because already SAP is there you are just rolling out the same scenarios there right that is a rollout. So, there also the same set of team will go and they will see it and take the requirements and make sure it is as per the head office and they will implement there. They will roll out the SAP rather than I may choose the right word roll out. So that is how it has happened. So implementation is nothing but you are doing implementation in a fresh, fresh environment you are setting up an SAP product in a fresh environment it is a where nothing no, no SAP is there that is implementation. Rollout is already SAP is implemented and there is another company another plant you are adding you know that is a factory you are adding then you know or a division you are adding such kind of things are known as rollout. Support is nothing but after implementation whatever issues coming in fixing for that there is a dedicated team who will do that that is kind of project is support. Upgrade is nothing but going from one version to the next version this is upgrade. So these are the three major types of the projects which you will be working and obviously if you ask me which one will have a, a where uh, people will be need to show interest is implementation because implementation is the digital transformation one where you have lot of opportunities to learn the new things and you will be doing lot of change management 
because there will be tea sources sitting there which might be using a older system and you need to convince them with a the new system. So, it is a challenging one and you also learn a lot and also as per the comparison if you see the comparison implementation team will have the higher package also. So, always focus on the implementation. So, these are the types of SAP projects. So, if you are a fresher or even for that matter later you need to focus on all these areas and you need to know all these areas keep that in your mind. I have prepared a comprehensive play playlist for this module wise playlist is available you can go and check in my channel go video by video take down the notes and if you have anything please put your comments I will respond ok that is number one and also on the types of the project implementation project support project I have prepared a separate video for that also you can check that it is also available wherein the clear explanation has given like what kind of methodology will use, what is activate methodology, how support happens, what is our support ticket, entire details are there. You just need to spend time, go through in my channel and pick that relevant one and you will have a greater knowledge in all these areas. If you really like this video and you think it is val uh, valuable for you, you know, please like this, share this to your friends who are looking for SAP career and also subscribe it. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.